Okay, let's see if we can do something interesting with shortly AI. Normally, if you've used this tool before, you know this, but it, it appears to be a writing tool, right? Where uh, it's gonna help you write your articles and it does a really good job of that. But I wanna show you if if you happen to be stuck, like you can't think of a topic, you know, maybe maybe you've been writing for a while and you've already sort of exhausted your topics and now you're you're kind of reaching and you, you're a little bit stuck and you're trying to say, you know, find some new topics about your niche. You can actually use Shortly to uh, help you with that. Um, as interesting as that sounds, maybe. Um, let me let me just zoom in here real quick because I realize this is a 4K video and it's probably pretty tiny looking. But so what you do is <laughs> and this is going to sound weird to you, maybe, but you just ask. So the, the really cool thing about Shortly AI is you get this blank canvas to write and an AI assistant that is there when you need it. So think of it as if that assistant was just literally a person sitting next to you and you ask them to do things for you. So I'm going to say, um, please give me um, ideas for topics uh, to write about Tokyo, Japan. Okay. Now, one of the first things I like to do is just sort of see what happens. You know, it's artificial intelligence. It can do anything. And we'll just see what is the first thing that it kind of does with just that little bit of prompting. Oh, look at that. It just started out right away with some decent stuff. You know, it just sort of depends on what you want to write about. Um, let me just clean this up a little bit. And okay. So if you want to talk about Japanese cuisine, you know, sushi's good, of course. Financial crisis, you know, I mean, I guess it sort of depends on what your if, if you're writing about Tokyo from a tourist perspective, maybe these types of things aren't really what you want. Maybe lost decade, you know, it might be interesting for a, a tourist to know. Definitely Japanese cuisine. So this is kind of something that happens uh, with just a little bit of prompting, right? It, it doesn't really know any kind of context. I mean, think about it for a second. Imagine if you were the assistant and your boss came to you and said, hey, I need ideas to write about Tokyo. And you're thinking, okay, um, and you just go out and I guess grab a few things and show them, you know, and a bad boss or whatever be like, oh, you're bad, go away, and like maybe kick you out or, you know, move on to another employee or something. Kind of how some people treat this AI where like, oh, I didn't give me what, they, what I want, and so therefore it's terrible. But it's usually all in the prompting. And so if you think about it, if you're that assistant and you need more context, like, what about Tokyo do you want topics about? Um, and so you could start going into, please give me ideas about uh, dining in Tokyo for tourists coming to, uh, let's say, Japan. Let me just delete this back. Coming to Japan, right? This might do a little bit better. Um, you might also add some sort of more context. Tourists uh, with large families and small children coming to Japan, right? And you can go ahead and just sort of delete this. And again, with no prompting in the where it says start writing here, no additional prompting, just purely article brief only. Hit write for me and we'll just see what happens. So we're, right now we're essentially just sort of spitballing with the uh, AI and just seeing what it can uh, bring us. Mm -hmm. So here's something else I want to kind of, I was hoping it would do this. So it's, it's giving us a paragraph. Now, I want to make sure that you're aware that it's not always going to be a list. And if it's not, it doesn't mean it's worthless, right? You can probably look in here and find some things that kind of give you some more clues, like etiquette rules, right? If we look here, so it's going to have etiquette rules. That could be interesting for a family coming to Japan, especially small children. You know, they don't want to embarrass themselves breaking all kinds of cultural rules, um, things like that. So make sure that you don't just dismiss it because it's a paragraph. You also might be able to say, please give me, uh, let's see if we can change it a list of ideas. I mean, maybe 
we can get it to give us a list. And so um, eventually I'm going to get to something that's probably a little bit more focused for you, but I'm just trying to show you some scenarios where this can be um, really nice. And I'm going to let this thing go and I'm going to just run it again. But before I run it, I'm going to see what happens if I just do something like this and I introduce like a, a dash sort of see if it knows what to do with it. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. It's bringing back some restaurants and stuff that you can find in, in Tokyo. Very cool, right? So if you're writing about uh, dining in Tokyo for tourists with, with large families and small children, these might be places to check out, do some research on, and add some more content about. That's pretty cool. All right, let's start over here one time real quick because I want to show you something else. And I'm going to put this back to please give me um, ideas for topics to write about Tokyo, Japan. And then I'm going to put here, I find it difficult to, hmm, oops, to think of topics to write about Tokyo. And then let's just see what happens. It's got a little bit more context. Um, it kind of knows a little bit more about your thinking. <laughs> so it's talking about writer's block, of course. All right. I was hoping it would kind of not give us what we hoped for because um, I want to start getting to the point where you need to learn how to start leading the AI. Um, and so you want to kind of give it like a nudge in a sense. Um, here are some ideas for uh, things to write about Tokyo. All right, and that's sort of generic, but you could say here are um, five ideas for things to write about Tokyo. And then come down here. Well, whoops. <laughs> Hold on a second. You come down here, hit something like one, and write. And let's just see what happens. Let's see if it knows kind of what's going on here. Because the AIs will kind of try and catch a pattern. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see, if you kind of nudge it along, you can get that list that you want. In fact, the more specific you can be, the better, right? It's, and just think of it as if, what if you were the assistant and you needed the help just to kind of give a little bit more context so that you could go out and get the information that the boss needed? Um, just pretend you're the boss and you're trying to be a good boss and you want to give enough context. You know, it's kind of a balance, right? You don't want to have to work so hard to get the what you want from the AI, but you want the AI to give you what you want. <laughs> so... It's a skill. Um, it's one that you'll have to refine over time. It, it's different for every niche. It's different for every person. Um, your voice, the keywords you like to use, the thing you're writing about, all that kind of stuff will make your situation different than my situation. So it'll take a little bit of practice. I hope that with the AI Content Dojo, I can provide enough demos and things like that where I can show you some aha moments where you're like, yes, I'm going to try that and it works for you. That's what I hope to achieve. So if you like this demo, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go down in the description, hit the link to go over to the AI Content Dojo and join there. It's totally free. Where you'll find this in video format and also in a um, written uh, text version if you want to follow along and copy and paste and see what happens inside of your Shortly. If you don't have Shortly, please follow the link in the description or on AI Content Dojo and subscribe there. That will support this channel and support the AI Content Dojo so I can produce more cool demos like this for you. That's it for now, and until next time, take care.